Hey guys, welcome to another Coffee Date Thursday. Let's try this again. Um, I was recording and then my phone ran out of room. So, yeah. So today's prompt is what makes you beautiful? And in thinking about this question a lot lately, I would say my beauty comes from my courage and my strength in my fight, my drive through life. Um, beauty is a thing that, you know, when I hear the word beauty, ultimately I think of physical appearance and looking beautiful. And beauty has always been something that I find adaptable because I can put on makeup and I can go from looking one way to completely different. I can dye my hair. I can cut it. There's so much that I can do to adapt my beauty. And it's one thing that I really find inspiring because looking back through pictures of it, I can see just how that beauty has grown and how that beauty has changed. Not just from when I was little, you know, like growing taller, um, but just going through the different weight fluctuations and changes in my face and changes in my body. I mean, I've had a child now, so my body is not the same that it was before I had Lucas, and my body's not going to be the same. You know, there are things that, has, that have changed. I have these bags under my eyes because no matter how much I sleep, I still have that worry on me of parenthood and is he going to turn out okay? Is he going to be, you know, what kind of child is he going to be? What kind of man is he going to be? You know, what's he going to, what's he going to be like? And just, you know, the thought of if we have another baby, um, you know, what's that child going to be like? And is it going to be a boy? Is it going to be a girl? What are we going to name it? You know, all these different little things that just float through my mind that change who I am and especially going through cancer which I have a picture and this is one you guys have probably seen before if you've watched any of my videos you guys know that I went through Hodgkin's lymphoma and this is one of my favorite pictures this is a picture from my first date with Steven our first date um, I took this on my webcam and it was right after I was diagnosed with cancer and right after I had gone through my first treatment. So you can see that I was bald and I hadn't lost, I was losing my eyebrows. I hadn't fully lost them at that point. But just the way that I've changed, you know, in going through cancer and having all those memories and even, even after my gallbladder surgery, I really started to feel like a sense of loss and beauty because I looked at the scars that I have. And right now I'm going to show you one of the things that doesn't make me too proud um, after having my gallbladder surgery. But right here is go down further, my belly button. And you guys can see the scar that I have at the base of... We can't see it really too well, but the scar that I have down at the base of my belly button from my gallbladder surgery, and I saw that, and the day that I had my gallbladder surgery, I was in tears. I don't even think Steven knows about this, but I went into the bathroom, and I was looking at my, I was looking at my incisions, and I just felt so self-conscious about this one little scar, and in the past couple of months since I've had my gallbladder surgery, I look at that scar and I realize it's not something to be ashamed of. Yes, it's something that marks my body, but I've got the scars up here. I've got the port scar. I've got the scar over here from the lymph node biopsy. It's another story. I survived my gallbladder surgery. I you know, went into that surgery and then found out that my gallbladder was double the size of what it should have been, which is something that was not good for my body. Why should I be living 
with something that is so infected like that inside of me. And, you know, I've come through. It's still healing, you know, and it's abdominal. It can take a while to heal. So it's been fun to see how that scar changes and to really, you know, overcome that feeling that my beauty was attacked. So I hope this, you know, kind of answers the question of what makes me beautiful. And I would love to know what makes you guys beautiful. Let me know down in the comments below. And I look forward to watching all the other coffee dates thursday videos and thank you all so much for watching if you are not already and you would like to feel free to hit that subscribe button and keep following me on my journey and i will see you guys in the next vlog bye guys